guys welcome back thank you so much for watching my videos today I'm gonna do my best to explain to you what engine knock is so buckle up take out some notes and uh, yeah try to follow along cuz I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best <laughs> is cylinder knock. First, we have to understand the four cycles of the engine. Suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. What we want to focus on is the power stroke and how and when the power stroke happens. So what happens during the power stroke? The piston moves upwards and it compresses the charge. The charge is a mixture of gasoline and air. So as the piston moves up, the charge becomes compressed within the cylinder. What happens is once the piston is nearly at the top of its travel, the spark plug ignites, it ignites the mixture, and then it pushes the piston back down. Now, we know the piston is connected to the crankshaft, which is a circle. So, you want the explosion to be pushing down on the piston when it's past 90 degrees. You want the piston to be pushing on the crankshaft at the correct time. So the explosion has to happen once the crankshaft has turned and is on its way down. Otherwise, if the explosion happens when the crankshaft isn't ready, you're actually fighting against its natural momentum. In a perfect world, the piston compresses the gas and the spark plug ignites it, igniting the gas, creating the pressure. Now, what happens sometimes is that there's a lot of heat and friction because all of these molecules are now being pushed together and they're all bumping into each other, which is causing their temperature to go up. So what does this mean? This means that there's a chance that this mixture of gasoline and air can now ignite in a place other than where the spark plug is igniting it. So if you can imagine, it's igniting instead of at the top, it's igniting at the bottom or in the corner. So instead of having a boom, you have a boom, boom. So you have two explosions that happen or sometimes three or four and they don't happen exactly when the computer wants them to happen and so this creates knock in your end anyway so in a perfect world but we don't live in a perfect world sometimes the gasoline ignites due to heat or pressure and this is what causes engine knock so this heat and pressure pre-igniting the fuel and air charge before the spark plug lights it is what causes knock and so this is bad for the pistons this is bad for the crank this is bad for the connecting rods it's bad for the engine if you can imagine it imagine like you know when you're swallowing and you're not supposed to really swallow and you do like a like a dry swallow and it like hurts your the back of your like throat and your esophagus and oh it just feels uncomfortable for like five minutes that's exactly how knock feels like to your car so it's not good you want to avoid it at all costs so the lower knock that you can have the lower amount of knock that you can have whatever ways you can find how to reduce it the better your call will run. Your car is able to detect knock. So if there is knock, so if the fuel is being compressed too much and it explodes before the spark plug is able to explode it, what the car does is it retards timing. What does that mean? That means that it will actually ignite the spark plug much sooner. So advanced timing is when it ignites the spark plug later in order to get that charge as squeezed as it can. But if that charge can't handle the pressure, what happens is the timing gets retarded and so it gets squeezed much less the spark plug goes off and it's on its way back down. And so giving it less squeeze is actually putting less stress on the gasoline in an attempt to reduce knock, but this also reduces power, keep in mind. I don't know. So I think I've said this a couple times, but knock is terrible for your engine. So you want to try to avoid knock at all costs. Knock is usually caused by high temperatures. So you can't really cool your gasoline. It's going to be whatever temperature it is. But you can cool the 
air coming in. So the colder the air is, obviously the colder the cylinder temperature is gonna be and the less chance you'll have of knock being created. So if you do the mod, I'm gonna link it right up here. It's a free mod that you can do or if you get a cold air intake or whatever mod that you can do so that your air intake is actually colder, whether it be through the grill or whether it be just a scoop or whether it be a cold air intake or whether it be the cold air intake mod that I suggested, if you can get that air colder your car will be able to experience less knock and therefore run more advanced timing more of the time so colder air is better because it reduces knock so lower IETs are overall better going on to the next you can also try to use something called meth if you use meth injection this will greatly reduce knock because meth has the octane reading of around 110 and so it'll bring your gasoline octane reading much higher also meth has meth serves the function to cool the intake air temperature so the intake air temperature usually can only be cold as cold as it is outside so if it's 30 outside no matter how fast you're driving your intake air temperature will very rarely it, be under 30. It will usually never be under 30. It will usually be like 10 degrees above 30. So with meth, what you can do is that intake air temperature all of a sudden becomes 17 or 15 degrees, even though it's 30 outside, which obviously helps your car run a lot more advanced timing, helps it run a lot cooler and helps it experience a lot less knock. Another way that you can get less knock is to use better gas. If you use 87 or if you use like 89 gas, you're going to experience you're gonna experience a lot more knock as opposed to if you use 94 or if you use like E85 or some more expensive fuel. So obviously I'm gonna do another video right here on fuel and what it means and how to understand what your car needs and what all the different kind of gases are. But for the main purpose, uh, if you see that you're having high knock, either try a different gas station or try a higher quality fuel. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you kind of understand what knock is a little bit better now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.